from the island of Rhodes, and this is what the neighbor of this guy who produced wine used to, to get. So the, his neighbor was a, perhaps a little wealthier. He could purchase his wine from abroad, <coughs> and uh, uh, as this wine jar indicates, and here we have another indication of fishermen in anchor etched on, on, uh, a, uh, on the handle of a jug. <coughs> Uh, one of the most interesting discoveries we made here uh, by uh, 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 Gloria Strickert from Waverly, Iowa, not that far away from here. When she excavated, she uh, turned these charts upside down, and this is what she got here. And uh, uh, when we looked at that, it looks in a shape, it had the shape of a cross. Uh, we were amazed to look at this cross. This cross dates. Uh, prior to the Christian cross. But it is extremely interesting that we have this coincidence of having cross at bedside, but this is not a Christian cross. This is, uh, uh, the meaning of this cross is unknown to us, but it is uh, uh, a symbol of something that we have no idea what, <coughs> what it is. Few more discoveries and finds, like we have discovered a lot of things in one of the houses like uh, the key of the house. This is the key of the house made of iron. It was quite a large key, about that size. You can see it had a whole uh, very interesting combination here, so it means that you cannot really open the door. Um, the owners of the house left the key and they never came back to pick it up again. Uh, we don't know who owns, owned the key. It could have been Peter, it could have been uh, his brother. Uh, what we did uh, just last year, March last year, we made a copy of this key and we, gave, uh, we presented it to the Pope and we said that it could have been Peter's key, <coughs> uh, this key here, we simply don't know, uh, but uh, Peter's key must have looked very similar to this one, maybe with a little different combination here or not. <coughs> um, uh, here we have uh, discovered a, an, a, a pickaxe, uh, and this is comparing with our modern pickaxe here, and you can see how similar the pickaxe here, like in mean, 2,000 years, so the difference between these two pickaxes, and they look just the same. <coughs> and um, in um, another place, uh, we have discovered a few coins. Uh, this, we have coins almost everywhere. Some of our nicest coins is the coin of Alexander the Great. You can see it right here, as it was discovered just last uh, year. <coughs> and a few other uh, objects. Uh, another coin here, and what you can do with the coins, like uh, uh, this is a gold earring, a beautiful gold earring, uh, made very uh, elegantly, very delicately, with small, teeny tiny, uh, 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 gold uh, uh, balls here, and that was one of our nicest small discoveries <coughs> that we made. Uh, in another place, we have discovered a uh, house that we think it served as a clinic because we had a lot of uh, implements, uh, and uh, that would indicate that uh, the owner of the house was uh, had to something to do with medicine. He had all kind of uh, pots there. And this is a lid of a cooking, cooking pot. This is the way we excavated it. And this is when we clean it and put it together. That's the way it looks like. <coughs> and, uh, uh, and one couple of things that, that indicate that this is a clinic uh, are the small vessels that we found there. And these are small vessels are for ointment and to put all kind of uh, 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 precious ointment that were inside the small, tiny uh, vessels that were here. And uh, the uh, spatulas that were used in order to uh, apply the ointment or whatever was inside. Now, who owned this uh, clinic? We don't know. <coughs> and uh, uh, we go now to the next chapter in this period, and this is the temple. Here we have some of the decorated stones that were in the temple. The temple was dis discovered in extremely poor state of preservation. You see, this is the temple in the inside and outside. And you can hardly, this is the ground plan of the temple, you can hardly see that there is a temple here because it was very, extremely poorly discovered or preserved, extremely poorly. 
if we did not have all the discoveries and finds around it, we would never know that <coughs> this is uh, the temple. Here is a, a group of vessels that came from uh, nearby the temple that would indicate that we are having uh, uh, something to do with the temple. And what we have discovered in addition to this was uh, an incense shovel, uh, two incense shovels. This is one, and here is the handle of the incense shovel. And this is the one after, oh, I don't have it here. I will have it perhaps there. Um, that um, made the incense shovel. Here we have a group of, uh, of uh, 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 pottery uh, vessels that were here. This is the incense shovel that uh, was uh, we discovered that came from the temple. <coughs> uh, and uh, we had then a group of figurines that came from uh, the temple. And one of them here is uh, a figurine that would indicate that this is a royal uh, figure <coughs> by the uh, diadem and all the other features that she got here. And we suspect that this is uh, uh, the temple. Here is a reconstruction of the temple that we have. We suspect that the pediment of the temple, which is, you see it here, was taken from Bethsaida to a synagogue much later on in period in time, about a couple of hundred years later, and served as, as it is, as a whole piece of architecture in, in a temple, <coughs> uh, in a synagogue. Now, some uh, words about ourselves. Uh, we sift every bucket that we have and we uh, raise a hell of a dust when we excavate because uh, we do a lot of cleaning and the area is sometimes tends to be very, very dusty. <coughs> um, oh, sorry. No. Uh, we uh, eat breakfast at the site, and in the afternoon we uh, gather together next to the Sea of Galilee, and we go over our finds, we record it, we study our finds, <coughs> and uh, and today, and here is a group, so I go uh, some of our students. Uh, today we are uh, uh, we open the site to the public. And uh, today it's a, uh, it's a uh, tourist site, tourist attraction. We, have, we get a lot of tourists coming to see what uh, we do and to visit uh, the site. And uh, with this, I think I'm, well, this is my last picture. And with this, I conclude today. Thank you very much. <coughs> I'd like to have to see students are in our next season from uh, 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 Iowa State coming to dig with us. Yes, sir. When did the later town come to the end? I'm sorry, what was that? When did the second person come to the end? Oh, what, uh, uh, the, uh, the second, uh, the city came to, uh, to its end in the third century to the common era. You have to look it from the tables for people yes. that are interested or like your children. Yes, sir. Yes. Was the city called Bethsaida in the 19th century? No, it was just called the Fair or Fair. It was called Fair or Fair. All right. Thank you very much for coming.